Fighting a bunch of snowmen earlier? Maybe I've been up. Stupid snow. Taking forever to plow. I always wanted to be a superhero. Engines all busted up. Don't forget. Huh? What? What's happening? Get out of the way, oh. snow stand! Gee, thanks, true believer. Exosia. There was some uh, questionable training taking place on the mountain earlier. Must be some new kind of ancient marsh. Oh. The cold never bothered me. Oh. Anyway. No matter how old you get, <laughs> nothing. I don't care what anybody says. I love you, Hawkeye. There was some uh, questionable training. Hmm, yes, quite lovely. There's some kind of exhibition happening. It might be a slightly controversial opinion, considering all the people who've been uprooted from their homes, but I actually think this Chronopolis place looks rather picturesque in an unorthodox sort of way. In fact, I was just thinking how nice it would be if someone, perhaps a kind nephew of mine, were to take some lovely photos for me. Only if they had the time, of course. That's very kind of you, dear. Thank you. Now, what kind of picture would I like? How about a picture that features a sphinx, that big floating bowl-looking city, and Kang's big electric tower? That would make for an interesting mix, don't you think? Did you forget what I asked for, dear? Not to worry. What I'm at Thank you, dearie. That looks lovely. Unfortunately, all my picture frames are back home, which is in who knows what dimension. So, until someone sorts that business out, I'll just have to unload the picture to sociable media. If I think of any other pictures I'd like, I'll be sure to let you know. And of course, if you need anything from me, don't be a stranger. You give your Aunt May a call once in a while. 
I wish that giant fireball on the Kronos building was a real giant fireball. Right up, whippersnappers, young and old. If you've made it this high, you will automatically qualify for entry into... What do I get out of all this, I hear you ask? What? Can a guy set up an elaborate assault course hundreds of feet above ground without some ulterior motive? The massless field flux should self-limit. Not bad. I suppose you come back any time you want to challenge the course. I could always use more test data. And there might be other rewards for you. How am I supposed to make the greatest production the world has ever seen under these conditions? All systems engage. Okay, let's show what we got. Power once more. But where is our star? Is he still asleep? Is someone wake him up? A stage without its star is like soft serve without a cone. A mess. Our star is probably still sleeping in his trailer. That boy can sleep through anything. Hurry and wake him up. I. Ah, oh, there you are. And get on that stage already. All right, already. Get off my back, Dad. And try to look a little more awake. But that's my secret. I'm always sleepy. All right. The show's about to begin. I've saved you a seat in the front row. Sit down and behold the magic of musical theater. This show gets better every time I see it. I'm so tired. Isn't that the guy who played, uh, what's his face? Uh, you know, in that thing. this part. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Maybe just credible rather than incredible, but for the first night, uh, not too shabby. Great! Now, can I go back to bed? Huh? Oh, snap! Uh, you played a major role in this performance yourself. Allow me to thank you with this. Maybe we'll see you at a future show. Thank you, thank you. You're the real star.
That's blown it. Doesn't look like I can ride it like that. That's not technically a cube, and it's definitely not the cosmic kind I was after. That was bad intel. Very bad intel. How about you take that thing and we just forget this ever happened? Isolation. <laughs> Who'd I talk to about getting me one of them metal horseless carriages?
Here I go, ready to give it my best. Hey, Bob. Lend me a hand. I'm losing my mind trying to find the John in this place. It's like a maze up here. Doctor Strange. Sorcerer Supreme. I don't know what the Mook who designed this place was thinking the way it's laid out. And the buttons for controlling the doors are all over the place. Unless we just wired it up wrong. I think we're getting close. I can feel it in my pipes. We made it. Oh, thank goodness. Come to Papa. Wait, are those pumpkin bombs? Ah! I, uh... I suddenly don't need the restroom. Please don't tell the guys about this, okay? Ah, uh, something for my next session of magical studies, perhaps? Someone took care of him, huh? This snow's been real bad for business. My poor store's been split down the middle. All the fan favorite balloons are stuck on the side of the store that I can't get to. Ah! Uh, just thinking about the money I'm paid. The balloons I want are on the other side of the store, not here. Ah! What are you doing? <laughs> hey, how'd you get in there? <laughs> Don't you go popping any of them balloons, you hear? <laughs> no! I mean it! Not a single one! <laughs> ah! What are you doing? Ah! Ah, uh, just... Take your filthy brick and get out of here. Look like something. I need a change of scenery. Oh, there we 
go. You really saved the day there, hero. Such fine work deserves a prize. If you take a nosy in that cash register, there should be a little something-something for your trouble. See you again soon! Quit, don't mind me. Just a teeny minor situation at the old super supply store. All under control. Take it you notice the uh, floating? Very shy. I spilled a drum of anti-grab on myself. Don't come in, though. It's all in hand. What? Da -da -da -da. Oh, uh, now, where's that emergency override? That cool lock got oh, Ricasso has done it again. The optical suggestions of the negative space bring the distinctive formal juxtapositions of crowbar, watermelon, Friday. Oh, the way one travels through the dog bowl. The artist has created a powerful metaphor for how one can be transported by flavors and magic dog bowls. Oh, fascinating. I didn't realize this was an interactive piece. Truly fascinating. The latter is a particularly apt piece given our current situation, for it is the very thing we need to escape this collapsing building. That didn't sound healthy. Unless it was meant to do that. Art is so diverse these days. I'm all over this game. At what point do I stop being a cameo and start being a star? I hope you're leaving us feeling enlightened. Uh, was that guy with you? Must be some new kind of ancient martial art or something. Where is this guy? I didn't realize we were working with such a diva. We booked this big cosplayer to come and MC our upcoming fundraiser for the Fuzzy Foundation, but he's running really late. And I reckon we're past fashionably late and creeping dangerously close to, oh, nuts, it's gotta be bad guys late. But as you might have noticed, I get antsy just sitting around waiting. Let's say we go look for him. All right, time to hit the trail. Take down the crime? I forgot to ask Koi Boy exactly who this guy is cosplaying as, but I'm sure we'll know him when we see him. How good can a costume be? Uh-oh, troubles are brewing. Isn't that Squirrel Girl? Oh no, she's onto us. We can't let her ruin our plans. Get her! <sighs> You think these guys have anything to do with our missing cosplayer? You want me to shovel all that stuff? Too much, man. Over already? Well, they didn't seem to like us going this way. <laughs> so let's keep doing it. Stop them! Don't let them near the containment cell! Containment cell, huh? <gasps> they must have our guy locked up! <laughs> you know, it's only just occurred to me but we could be on the trail of something totally unrelated to our cosplayer situation. Well, no point worrying about it now. Don't they call her the unbeatable squirrel girl? I'm just saying, maybe rather than try to beat her, we just, you know, run away! Quiet, you fool! Get her! <laughs> These guys are no real challenge. I beat Thing Thing Boom Yo! Hello? Hello? Anybody out there? This is all a misunderstanding. This is just a really, really convincing costume. Whoa! Is that Modok? No, 
No, wait. Something's not quite right. Yes, exactly. I'm not the real Modoc. Just a charming professional imposter, also known as a costumed player. I was supposed to MC that fundraiser thing, but I was imprisoned by AIM for defecting. How are we going to get you out of there? You need the password to open the cell. Assuming you haven't already clobbered them all, the lackeys around here should know what it is. All right, guess we have a new mission. See what you can dig up about that password. I'll hang here in case anybody important looking swings by. Those aim guys should be a bit more willing to talk after we showed their buddy what we can do. to take care of. Oh, Princess Snuffle Meow, what have I got myself into this time? The, the password? I couldn't tell you it even if I wanted to. All I know is the guy who set it up used the name of his cat or his dog or something. Seriously, that is all I know. I know we've got a whole new bunch of problems now, but I have to ask. Did anyone ever... Hmm. Now show those guys. So, find anything out? That sounds useful, but not on its own. We need more. Weird name for a cat. I've got a feeling that'll be relevant somehow. <laughs> Okay, from what you've told me, I think I've got it. The password is... Princess Snuffle Meow? Oh, boy. Let's just hope it doesn't need a three instead of an E or something. Bingo! Sweet freedom! Thank you, kind squirrel. And we did it! Seems like I'm not the only one who can use their awesome conversational skills to win a fight. Now we can finally get this show back on the road. Thanks for your help. Soon as he's had a chance to compose himself, I'll help Modoc here get to the event safely. You mind running on ahead to let Chipmunk Hunk and Koi Boy know? I left Chipmunk Hunk and Koi Boy in charge of getting Central Park ready for our big bonanza. Maybe you could give those guys a hand for me? Thank you for your help. See you at the fundraiser. Four Manhattans. Ha ha ha. Your eyes in the water see anything yet? Squirrel Girl sent you? Good timing. We could always do with a little extra manpower. On top of our current chipmunk and fish power, I mean. When SG asked us to clean Central Park up ready for the fuzzy event, we thought she just meant picking up soda cans and stuff. What she declined to tell us is that a whole bunch of villain types have made this place their official stomping ground. We can't go five minutes without some random gang of goons showing up to cause trouble. I guess you can't blame them. It is rather pleasant around here. Chilly, but pleasant. Anyway... We better get ready to rumble. My eyes in the water tell me we've got some trouble incoming. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No matter how old you get. <laughs> All right, guys, be ready. The fish force are telling me our enemies are closing in. Wouldn't it have made more sense for the chipmunk corps to take lookout duty? I mean, it's not like a fish can take a high vantage point. No time for that. Now, we must fight! The Master says I can make any progress in my training is possible. Awesome. start wearing these. But it's so cold here! Time to honor our promise and clean up this park for good. But with foot sweeps instead of street sweep furs. And shoving instead of... Shoveling? This is not our best material. Edgar's mansion earlier. Think it had anything to do with that massive face that appeared in the sky? Nah, probably unrelated. 
What are those sticks called that you use to pick up trash? Uh, trash sticks? Oh, right. Kicks instead of trash sticks. I'm all out. How many more are there? Weren't you the one with eyes in the water? Yeah, someone kicked dirt in the pond. Only thing they've got a visual on now is a big brown cloud. Who's ready to face him? Turn down the cave of dragons. Did have an actual dragon You have your camera with you, dear. I have another idea for a picture. Have you seen that superhero supply store? The lady who runs it always seems to be in some sort of trouble. Yesterday she was a purple. Eh, you'll learn to tune it out. somewhere else to hang out. This is our turf now. If you guys wanted to show up early, you should have sprung for the early bird tickets. Oh no. What? What happened? I forgot to pay the deposit on that popcorn machine. Oh boy. Doreen's really gonna let you have it. dragon inside. Somebody owes me a blue stud. <laughs> Woohoo! Score one for the cleanup crew. What's that? Our new hero squad name? I didn't sign off on any new hero squad name. Uh, we could talk about that later. We're seriously behind on our preparations for the fundraiser. Oh, yeah. You're coming to that, right? It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have snacks, music, a MODOK cosplayer, all sorts of cool stuff. MODOK? That's who you got to MC? He's the only guy we could get at this short notice. Anyway, it'll be a blast. Hopefully, we'll see you there. Hey, you didn't think you could be that helpful and not unlock a new Gwenpool mission, did you? Go check out that bad boy! Thanks again for earlier. Stop by the fundraiser if you get a chance, okay? show those guys can you believe they're still making video games about losers like the Avengers they already had their turn two in fact though I'm not sure if they're both strictly canon either way when was the last time you saw a game with a duck on the cover the industry needs to change starting with my new game code name project egg sadly my quack starter campaign fell through so I'm gonna need to find the funds for this thing some other way Think you could help me find a wealthy entrepreneur that I can hit up for the dough? I really want to roll a big snowball down the mountain, but time's a hot... You won't regret it, kid. See what you can find out from the folks around here. There's got to be at least one money bags in this joint. The thing they don't warn you about when working at the bank is the folks who keep you working late drying off waterlogged treasure. How'd it get so wet? And why was there so much of it? Whoever it belonged to must be rich. 
two. Two Manhattans. Ha ha ha. To be honest, I was expecting bigger things from Quackstarter. That old prospector over in the Old West said he pulled a big hole of something out of the water the other day. Didn't say what it was. But he was winking so hard, I thought he was going to hurt himself. And he was soaking wet. What a strange fellow. Somebody owes me a blue stud. So what do you got for me? Could be something there, if we can confirm it wasn't just an old booty dug up. Hmm, promising. If we knew who cashed in that loot, we could definitely hit them up. So putting what you've told me through the old Detective Melon, we can deduce that the old prospector over in the Old West recently came into some serious cheddar. This is perfect. The only thing now is to figure out how to convince an old-timey prospector to invest in a Talking Ducks video game. That won't be the weirdest thing I do all week by any stretch. Thanks for the help, kid. Oh, and if you run into Forbush Man, could you tell him the funds are in the bag? Last I heard, the poor guy was looking into making money through social media marketing. If you have your camera with you, dear, I have another- Is there a person out there who can understand my vision? Something must have gone down in the Cave of Dragons. Working with Howard on this video game of his has been problematic. He laughed at my idea for the final boss, but I think he simply lacks the imagination to grasp its true awesomeness. But as an accomplished game designer, this is a problem I know how to fix. Some ideas are better to show than tell, so what we need is our prototype. We'll get you dressed up as my villain and show off your awesome villainy skills. Skillany. <laughs> so, you in? A smart decision. I'll show you my design for the character. You've signed an NDA, right? Whatever. Get yourself looking the part, then we can start the demo. Looking good. We're lucky I managed to arrange this meeting with Howard. He's usually crazy busy on the phone with publishers all day and... Wait. We don't have a publisher yet. That lazy. Soon as Howard shows up, I'll rustle up some enemies for you to fight. All right, Forbush, make this quick. I've got another meeting after this. About meetings. But we're the only two people working on... Ah, never mind. Feast your eyes on cock a doodle doo What? No one is safe from this foul enemy. Oh, good. Poultry jokes. I assure you, this villain is no yoke. 
and not even original ones. Fried, don't know what you mean. Ugh. Uh. 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 Doom lays her enemies to waste with devastating uh. expertise. The puns are making me like it less. Uh. You know that, right? Uh. If you think she's done with you yet, you're fresh out of clock. No. And scene. So, what do you think? Pretty hardcore, right? Pretty intimidating, right? Pretty... All right, stop saying words. You can put your stupid chicken boss in the game. But if any of the kids at the focus test start crying, it's coming straight out again. You won't regret this, Howard. If the folks at ChronoCon don't love it, I'll eat my saucepan. Oh, shoot. ChronoCon's coming up. What are we doing standing around Yaki? We got to get the game finished. Oh, yeah. I forgot we actually had to make the thing. Thanks for helping us out, pal. If you're going to Chronicon, make sure to drop by the stand. Gwenpool's disembodied voice here. Your heroic deeds have unlocked one of my incredible Gwenpool missions. Go find it. Speaking of Chronicon, you did get the tickets, right? Uh, I thought you were doing that. This is what I get for teaming up with a walking pot rack. Are you here for the anger management session? I heard about what happened with Avon. It seems that ever since the dawn of Kang's reign, more and more heroes are struggling to keep their anger in check. Possibly because you cannot spell anger without the last three letters of Kang, or possibly not. At any rate, if people will benefit from my pacifistic outlook on life, then I am happy to share my experiences. But in order to do this, I will need you to fetch something crucial to my anger management training. Cuddle, friend! I appreciate this. By assuming the role of cuddle friend, you will play a vital role in the anger management of Avon and many others. Right. friend has an incredibly calming effect on people. It always worked wonders on one. So you decided to join us, Cuddle Friend. And I feel calmer already. Not that I wasn't calm before. That barista had every right to finish his phone conversation before serving me my coffee. Anyway, with our lovable mascot back with us, I just have a few more preparations to make, and our anger management session will be in session. Dr. Strange has on his sanctum? Something tells me that story doesn't end here. Let's wrap this saga up in a Gwenpool mission. Why don't you take five, Cuddle Friend, and I'll call you when we're ready.
actually kind of miss those kind of I just want to go home already. Search Heroes Wrestle Scorpion. I have an urgent request from Madam Hydra. Change of scenery. Scenery. Say, if you're not too busy, I had another gift. Find the simple life, man. Hero. I mean, I don't I've picked up a crime 
taking place near your location. Can you go take a look? Comrade, I need your help. All the snow gears away from the We thought we were in the clear after being rescued from the base in Siberia, but it seems we were wrong. Not long after our return, the other members of the Winter Guard went crazy, started attacking everyone in sight. This behavior, it is a lot like what happened back at the base. I'm no scientist, but my guess is that this is some kind of delayed reaction to the presence's mind control radiation. Which means, the only way to save my comrades is to fight them. And for that, I will need your help. Excellent. Then we should hurry and look for my comrades. Fighting the Winter Guard will be no, how you say, cakewalk in park. I should know! I am one of them! I just hope we can deal with them one at a time. I just wanna go home. These are the Presence's men. We must be on the right track! Foolish humans, I hope you're pre you leave me no choice but to crush you. Surprise! No! Help me! You call this a challenge? I have battled the great and powerful Hulk! Enough with these small fry. We must hurry and catch the big fish. So, you are the ones who would defy the presence. Prepare to be destroyed. Sasha, my friend, this is not you. Stop this madness. Do not test me, furry beast. The power of the Dark Force! The might of the Presence is absolute! Don't stand in our way! Explain everything when I've rescued the others. For now, just rest. Come, comrade. We must rescue the others. Let me guess. You're wondering why I wasn't affected by the radiation. I'm gonna put it down to my extra body mass. Or maybe bears are just immune. But again, I'm no scientist. You leave us no choice but to bear arms. You mess with th this doesn't put me in a very cuddly mood. I am not your garden variety anthropomorphic bear. I am Ursa Major, King of Bears. They were no trouble. No one can stop the might of the presence. I recommend you surrender, little bear. I don't want to have to hurt you, Dynamo. Please, you must fight it. Wait, 
Did he call me little? Move aside, or I will simply blast you aside! You are no match for me! The Presence will have his revenge! I will see to that! Prepare to feel the sting of defeat! What? What was I just... doing? I'm glad you're back with this comrade. Wait here, we still have to help Alexei. Now, we just have to save the Red Guardian and this will all be over. of these small fry. They must be gluttons for punishment. I'm going berserk! I'll put you into hibernation! It's Red Skull Tuesday. I can't wait! You really think you stand a chance against the unsurpassed power of Ursa Major? <laughs> Strongest one there is. Uh, I'm too young to be removed from the glory of the Empire. They were barely worth our time. So, you made it past the others. Well, the Red Guardian won't go down so easily. Your mind is not your own, Alexei. Don't let the Presence manipulate you. This is your first and final warning, villain. Don't stand in my way! How about I reshape your face? Never underestimate the science of punching! going on? It seems you have returned to us, comrade. Well, we did it, my friend. It brought me no pleasure to fight my comrades. Well, maybe Dynamo. He gets on my nerves sometimes. But I'm certain that once they've recovered from battle, the Winter Guard will be back in action and mind control free. Even with my strength, I couldn't have done this alone. But show us, Masiba, my friend. If you ever need a helping claw fighting Kang, you can depend on me. <laughs> I heard it was you that helped Mikhail. Thank you. My mind is back to normal, but my body made... <laughs> Thanks, buddy. up in that ruined building? Man, I do not get that fancy art stuff. <sighs> Thanks. Man, it was cold in there.
Much appreciated. Haven't seen any of those surveillance drones for a while. Guess someone took care of them, huh? If some kind superhero could see their way to saving me right about now, that'd be great. Thanks. I'm gonna go take a hot b b b b bath. Looks like something big was going down on the <laughs> mansion earlier. Think it had anything to do with that? <sighs> Thank you. Thanks. Man, it was cold in there. Somebody owes me a blue stud. You're a lifesaver! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. I'm g g g gonna go take a hot b b b b bath. If you have your camera with you, dear. Thanks. Man, it was cold in there. Thanks. For a minute there, I thought I was going to have to defend myself. If some kind superhero could see their way to saving me right about now, that'd be great. All right, my hero. Apparently there's some kind of exhibition in building. Man, oh. 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 Makes me sad for those unlucky enough to be enslaved by like Me worried for a minute there. I really want to go over. It's so well down the mountain. Times are hot enough in the city. 
city without giant frozen boulders hurtling towards the place. This... Thanks. For a minute there, I thought I was... So I've been thinking about this Kang guy, and I don't think I care for him. The best. Seriously, better than all the rest. Someone just bumped. You seen that superhero supply store? Lady who runs it always seems to be in some sort of trouble. You had me worried for a minute there. You have a minute? I've got a new mission for you. After Kang decided to blow up my helicarrier to show us what a big deal he is, the shield agents on board were scattered to the wind. Most of the agents have returned safely, but we still have a few rookies who've yet to report in. Your mission is to head up the search party for these rookies. How about it? All right. I've transferred the rookies' IDs to your radar. That should help you narrow down their positions. Given the current situation with Chronopolis, it's highly likely the rookies will have run into trouble. Be prepared for anything. You guys don't scare me. I have mastered the deadly martial art of the cowering goat. Behold, the intense shockwaves emitted from my cowering are shaking you to your very core. Oh, that just makes me feel so calm and serene. Calm. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm totally onto something with this new fighting style. I'd better go tell Director Fury all about it. faces at me. I'm sure we can reach a peaceful resolution. Oh, man. Training did not prepare me for this. Oh, don't hurt me. Can you believe some people don't stay up to date with all the latest? Borbush Man! Straight out of the pages of Marble... Oh, you saved me. Thanks. Now I can report back to Director Fury. to get my uniform Ooh. dirty in some <laughs> stupid fight. Oh, a hero, right on time. Thanks, I really only joined SHIELD. Anyway, back to Director Fury. Never divulge shield secrets. Never! Well, when I say never, I mean it really kind of depends on the kind of threats you're threatening me with. Um, oh, thank goodness you're here. I was just about to sing like a bird. Now go get him! Going. Now 
Now back to Director Fury. You seen that superhero supply store? It always seems to be in some sort of trouble. Yesterday she was purple. Nice work. That's all the rookies accounted for. Hope they didn't give you too much trouble. They may not be our most capable agents yet, but ever and now that's taken care of, I'm officially out of S.H.I.E.L.D. business. At least until this Chronopolis thing gets resolved. In the meantime, if you need any help out in the field, give me a call. Enlightenment and martial art mastery may be priceless. Those plane tickets definitely cost some. I'm picking up some kind of robotic life form flying around Manhattan. Careful if you get near it. I've been with you since the beginning. Absorbing your power so I might use them against you. Well, you can rely on the Avengers to host a great victory rap party. Claw must be around somewhere. Along with that vibranium. Eat up, Adaptoid, or you won't grow up big and strong. Enough backstory. I am Super Adaptoid, a one-man team of Avengers and AIM's ultimate creation. I have calculated the precise location within Chronopolis that meets my combat specific. <laughs> you can't catch me! I'm the Iron Bread Man! <laughs> How did you catch me? Not bad. It seems I have some further adapting to do. Something must have gone. To Let's see how you fare back on the ground. Store. Lady who runs it always seems to be in some sort of trouble. Yesterday she was purple. Don't rest on your laurels. To the sky! <laughs> How did you catch me? you catch me? To the ground. I'm not done yet. This is worse than that time with the Nega Bomb! Now is the optimal time to strike. Allow me to take away your liberty. This is worse than getting sand in your boats. You've out adapted me! Interesting specimen. Shame, I probably got about a million of these.
happens every two minutes. Miracles do happen.